So, let's talk about my kit. And let's see if I can get you guys an inspiration for your first guns, for your first loadouts, for armor, for chest rig, for, for whatever. What is up dudes? Thanks for clicking, I appreciate it. First and foremost, nothing in. Nothing in the chamber. Let's rock and roll. So, let's go over the kit. This is my first kit. This is all based around nine millimeter. Nine millimeter is the cheapest round that you can get for the most part that is still gonna be effective. Like obviously you can get smaller ones, 22, whatever, um, I think 17 caliber. I had a buddy that was using 17 caliber for a little bit, very interesting round. But nine millimeter, especially with hollow points, especially with defense rounds, is gonna do some damage. And it's not gonna be insanely expensive to train with. That's a big thing that new people need to keep in mind when they're buying their first piece. They need to get around that they can train with. And nine millimeter is great for that. Um, and I love that this 9mm AK and my 9mm pistol both run the same type of round. So super cool there, super cool. So let's get into the AK. So this AK right here is from Palmetto State Armory. It is a freaking machine, I absolutely love it. And Palmetto State Armory, not sponsoring this video, but I would generally recommend their gear for someone that's just getting into the gun world uh, because it's fairly cheap and the uh, machine work is generally pretty good. I did admittedly have some issues though with this right out the gate. They did fix all of my issues though for free because there's a lifetime warranty with them, which is tight. But uh, yeah, I, I am a little disappointed in that, but they generally kick ass. So check out Palmetto State Armory. Um, decent enough gear, especially for your first piece. And uh, as far as the little ins and outs of what I have here to uh, to work with, uh, tack light, single point sling, detachable, and a very sweet red dot that you may have seen videos on before. Uh, I do really like that I can co-witness with a high profile, which is pretty pretty great. It's a very hollowed out um, mount, so I can see under the mount, which is dope. And um, that about covers the that about covers the gun side. We went over the nine millimeter pricing. We went over the general pieces of this. And let me know in the in the comments if you guys have any more questions. Um, I'm I'm here. I'm love love to answer questions. Uh, so let's get into the chest rig. So the chest rig here is uh, from Spiritus Systems, great brand, uh, not sponsored. And this micro fight chassis is called the MK4, has the ability to insert eight magazines. So I can hold up to 300 rounds in this bad boy, which is sweet. Below, attached to the micro fight, I have a pouch where I have tourniquets, a knife, uh, you can put stuff in here like surgical gloves, um, gummy bears, uh, surgical scissors, and just anything that you think you're gonna need on your person in the moment when it's most important. And attached, actually not attached, technically speaking they are not. Um, my armor, which goes under the micro fight, is level 3A soft armor, and obviously not the best armor, but also it's very cheap, I think this was about 200 bucks, it's not going to break your back like plates. I hear a lot of people that run plates in law enforcement or military. It does a lot of, it puts a lot of pressure on your back. So if you're wearing it a lot, it's going it, to, it will, it can cause you long-term back problems, which sucks. So this thing is insanely light. Um, the only thing that I don't particularly enjoy about the totally encapsulating soft armor here is it compresses your chest really, really bad. Um, I imagine plates do something similar with, because generally your, your sides are open, so maybe it feels a little less constricted, but I've never worn plates before. Maybe someone in the comments could let me know how it feels to run plates as far as it compressing on your chest, because the one thing I do not like about the soft armor is it really does compress your chest, so 
you definitely need to train with it. Uh, and I don't mean train to like go to the range and, and shoot with the armor on. You literally need to go running with it. Uh, you need to get used to the fact that you are going to have very labored breaths when you're moving around with this thing because it is it is pretty brutal. Um, and that about covers the general entirety of the kit. Uh, this pistol here, Smith & Wesson, um, very cool. This was discontinued in 2007, so they don't make these anymore. I will never sell this pistol. It's not worth a whole lot. It's like 400 bucks, but it's a really cool piece. It reminds me of like the Denzel Washington movies from the early 2000s. Um, so cool piece, definitely not the best pistol. It's a uh, very heavy trigger on that first pull if the hammer's not down. So that kind of sucks, but um, yeah, I've seen worse. I've also seen a lot better. So I wanted to make this video for you guys just to give you a rundown of what I generally work with. Um, just to give you an idea of maybe something that you could start with. Uh, keep in mind nine millimeter, nine millimeters, very cheap. Uh, it allows you to train much more than buying something like 7.62 or 5.56 or 300 Blackout or 5.7. And actually 7.62 is going to be the next caliber that I work with um, when I get my next piece. Uh, 7.62 is actually surprising in the sense that uh, it's fairly cheap. It's almost the same price as 9mm if you buy a full metal jacket. So it's very appealing to me in the sense that I like going to the range four times a month if I can help it, once a week. So having a caliber that I can train with consistently without totally just burning all my cash, super great, super great. So check out 9mm, check out Palmetto State Armory, check out their AKVs, and get locked and loaded, baby. Keep it legal, keep it safe. You'll have a good day. Sunheart out. Check the description for gear links. Whoa.